Oh, I absolutely love that conversation. And now that we know what it entails to save for the holiday, let's find out where to go, right? So a new adventure is food for the mind, the body, the soul, and the spirit. And our lovely friends, Ayana, Tapete, and Harmony got to explore the incredible Richards Bay for an unforgettable vacation, courtesy of Tourism KZN, showing you the best way to plan your next holiday. So let's dive in and take a look. It's going to be good. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Sun Bonani. Ikama is Ayanda Tabete, Miss South Africa runner-up 2022. I have had the most incredible itch in my feet for adventure, and today I get to scratch that itch, finding myself in the beautiful province that is KwaZulu-Natal. Today I'm in Bon Hotel in Richards Bay. I've been promised delicious food, beautiful scenery in the city and the countryside. Let's see what this amazing place has to offer us this weekend. Richards Bay is a must-visit area for tourists and everybody in KZN because it's a beautiful mix of city buildings. Like, we stayed at the Bond Hotel and I thoroughly enjoyed the look of that hotel. And then we had an ocean view on top of that. If you put me near a body of water, my soul is going to be happy. Today I find myself at Somopa Hills, getting a little dose of adventure, as I should. Let's see what this beautiful place has to offer. I went quad biking. Am I a biker now? Through the rugged terrain, it was yeah. beautiful. What makes Somopo Hills different from all other adventure parks? We are located 100 meters away from the resting place of Inkosi Somopo Gaskal Amtembu, who was a remarkable figure in the Zulu Kingdom as he was tasked by King Bande to raise King Zedrayo. So our hills are very beautiful and we're having amazing vegetation as you can see. We are surrounded by biggest two towns which is Mbangeni and Richards Bay, which makes our location very strategic for visitors who want to come and explore what we are offering at Somopo Hills. What is nightlife without incredible cuisine, beautiful views, and amazing company to make the night feel short? I have an amazing guest with me tonight. <laughs> hey, all you beautiful people. How are you doing? I'm good on yourself, sir. I'm awesome. I'm super excited to be here, to be experiencing this lovely, gorgeous getaway with you. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be beautiful, isn't it? It's going to be fantastic. Girl, why are we wasting time? Let's go. <laughs> Chef Andiswa, thank you for welcoming us to your kitchen. What will you be cooking for us tonight, Chef Andy? I'll be making frame grilled lamb cutlets for you, the pub, traditional spinach, chakalaka, using our own herbs. Then I will also make you a whole fish, a lemon cooked salsa, and a lemon and garlic potatoes. Ooh, the yellowtail fish, just seafood, is mm -hmm. a must try. But for me, personally, I love the lamb chops. Give me red meat Ooh. any day. I'm clearly all about the land, and he's clearly all about the yeah. ocean. Oh, this was phenomenal. The food, incredible. It's a yes from me. It's, it's a, a yes from me, too. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll catch up with you tomorrow as we do an amazing excursion. But for tonight, it's cheers, right? Please. Cheers. Cheers to that. Welcome. Yes, sir. After an incredible night's rest, we finally touched down at Mtembu Lodge. We're going to spend the day with the Big Five. Are you ready for today? Girl, I am more than ready. You had me at Big Five. This mm. place is incredible. But what are some of the standout features and activities that guests can look forward to? We do do game drives because this is the home of the Big Five. Kwazulu Natal is all more about like the Zulu culture. Yes. This used to be King Shaga's hunting ground. Yeah, you, you get to know it in the Zulu culture in depth. Oh, makes yes. it so special. It's so very... proud of being Zulu today. What kind of animals can we look forward to? Definitely Big Five because mm. we are attached to to Mpolozi Park and Mpolozi being the oldest game reserve in Africa. You can expect 
different types of uh, bird life uh, you can expect nocturnal animals like adverb, porcupine, things like that. How is it that tourism helps you teach everyone about the culture of KZN? When they visit us, we are able to exchange cultural experiences. I'm able to take them to Ngomani Spring, where I can share the rich history of Shada and the formation of the Zulu Kingdom. There is so much to do in KZN, like everything from, from wildlife to the nightlife to um, picnics, to restaurants, to just enjoying nature. It's incredible. I think my favorite definitely has to be the game drives. What I love about this trip is that it showed us that KZN has luxury and adventure. Come I went on, on a hike, yeah. saw incredible views. <laughs> I went quad biking, it was yeah. beautiful. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, like how good does I'm still saving for the holiday, man. Come on. Oh, we're getting we there. We're getting there. We got it, we got it there. in the right order. Absolutely yeah. beautiful stuff. Look, I must so. say, though, that KZN is right here on our doorstep if you think of the beauty that we have in South Africa. And it's not that expensive as well. So you want to save for it's a beautiful trip, yeah. do it right here, especially if you're heading to KZN. Why? I mean, the, the sun's out right at the time. It's ready. <laughs> Which means you can go with friends and family on vacation of your dreams. And perhaps maybe that is something you're planning. Let us know how much you enjoy your trip to KZN and your favorite things to do and you're welcome to share that with us on our Expresso social media.